joining me today are the cast and crew of the most anticipated thriller this season, Chere. I have Imran Hashmi, Crystal D'Souza, and producer Anand Pandit. Hello and welcome. Hi. 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 You know, welcome back. I want to start off with you, Imran. Two theatrical releases this year. Are you the only actor to have that? Mumbai Saga and now Chere. I think so. Uh, I don't know if that's a great thing or the lyrics to it. I think it's I think it's the order of the day. I think it's very important. It's the right spirit. Um, it's very important to kind of go back to our first love, which is big ticket films and uh, big street experience. And yes, uh, COVID has kind of played a kind of spoil sport in the past one and a half year. But I think it's very important that the show must go on. And even if it's baby steps, uh, open those doors of those theaters and take the films back where they belong. Uh, there'll always be plays for television and OTT, but when you have films that have primarily been made for the, the, the big screen experience, it's very important to first explore that avenue and then go to an old OTT platform, which I, uh, which I think we've done for both films, which has been beneficial in the way, Mumbai Saga. Uh, it benefited, yes, we got the second wave coming right at the second wave of the collection that film. Um, but I think right now, Cherry would be a win-win. It's, uh, it's a film primarily made for uh, a big screen experience. It's got, great, it's got a great story. The narrative is very engaging, but every frame also is extremely captivating. Um, the way uh, Mr. Vinod Pradhan has shot the film is spectacular, and it can only be enjoyed with sound effects and uh, the visuals on the screen. You know, you are an actor, Imran, who has always put his money where his mouth is. Uh, you've given your fans what you want. You have never signed on films that you don't believe in. You have stuck to your guts. And now I see, even when it comes to a theatrical release, uh, you know, you've pushed for it, you've got it. And again, coming back to the genre of Chere, I think this is the kind of film that Imran as an actor likes to do and his fans like to watch. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, just starting off with the kind of subject that this is, uh, it is a psychological thriller, it is a, a noir film, but it's a very, very entertaining film. Um, I remember hearing it uh, when Anandji and Uniji came and narrated to me. And what struck me uh, off, I mean, the first thing was that it's, yes, it's a thriller, mm -hmm. but, you know, we're so ahead of the curve as an audience that, you know, thrillers get very predictable. But this film just keeps it so unpredictable, so novel, and so interesting. There's so many interesting hook points and such interesting characters in the film that when I was listening to the script, I, I just couldn't just I, I just couldn't I don't want to take a break. I just wanted to rush through it and, and just get to the end and just kind of savor every moment of it. And when I saw the film, uh, I just realized that Ruby and G has made a fantastic film, a film that's extremely engaging, captivating. And uh, it's something that people will remember for, for years, years from after releases. You know, I'm personally looking forward to it because every day I Google best thrillers to watch. So I'm happy there's one more that's being added to the list. Now, coming to your films, of course, there's always a lovely song, a romantic number. Crystal, this time along, Imran Hashmi is romancing you, right? You know, and he does romance like nobody else. He doesn't lip sync. He has his own style. How is it being wooed by Imran on screen? Uh, I think, you know, think, it, <laughs> there are no bad things to say because uh, he's, I have always watched his romantic songs and, you know, never did I ever think that I'd be a part of it. So, uh, of course, it's a privilege to be in it. And uh, more than anything, I love the song. I love uh, Rangdarya. I, you know, when I heard it for the first time, I absolutely fell in love with it. And, uh, you know, I feel like Imran has this thing of having these, you know, these songs that just take you into another land altogether. So, uh, it was amazing shooting with him, working with him. And uh, obviously, we, if you actually know what we are doing, why we are filming this, so-called romantic song is the funniest. We're just having small talk. <laughs> we are talking about rubbish, anything under the sun. So uh, thankfully we didn't have mics, but it was fun shooting. <laughs> you know, Imran is the most romantic actor with a poker face. Correct. You know, he is such a romantic, but it's also poker face. You say something, you don't know how he feels about it, right? 
I know. I completely understand. I empathize with you, Crystal. Anand ji, you know you're the producer of the film. You <laughs> work together. See again. Finally, a smile. It's so rare from Imran to get a <laughs> smile. You empathize with you, Crystal, or sympathize? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Em empathize, empathize. I think because oh. as a journalist, even I'm always always trying to make you laugh. A smile, and I'm like, "Are you know, he was a little serious throughout this interview." One, one right now, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> one. Yeah, one. One is good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Anandji, you somehow brought together Imran, Kristen, who is so popular. You know, every post of us gets some five thousand comments, I think, or fifty thousand. You have, of course, Amitabh Bachchan. How did you get together all these big stars in one film? Uh. I would say I was very fortunate. I wanted to. I have made a lot of films in India. I uh, wanted to make uh, a thriller, especially with uh, Bachchan sir, and uh, having a good relation with Mr. Bachchan. Uh, I was looking at a lot of uh, different scripts, but one day uh, Bachchan sir himself called me. Can we, four five years have been passed by this script, and I want to make this film. Uh, can Can you be a producer on this? And it was like a dream come true. Uh, yeah. This is a script handpicked by Amitabh Bachchan. How cool is that? You know, even for you guys as actors, you know, it's a script that he picked. You can't go wrong with that, right? How was it working with him, uh, Imran? Is this the first time you guys are working together? Yes, the first time. And how was it? You know, your acting styles. I'm sure they are different, but how did they come together? Uh, I don't know if I mean I don't know how they're different, but um, I got a lot to learn from these films because uh, just the the fact that firstly the cast, Anuji is a fabulous actor and his uh, just his uh, work ethic, his professionalism, the way he approaches the scene is by excellence, and of course then to top it off, the other great actors in the film, a stellar star cast that again I got a lot to learn from, and I had to up my game because this film is yes it is dialogue heavy. But there is this banter that has to look very edgy at the same time, extremely naturalistic. So uh, I was a little um, nervous because I was like, I'd never done this kind of courtroom drama kind of play in a film, uh, which was this dialogue heavy. But uh, and I was like, I was up for the challenge because I liked the subject so much. And Amit is a gem of a person and a great actor, very good actor. And you always bring a natural ease to your lines, to your character. So I can't imagine that was a hard thing to crack for you. Was there anything, anything <laughs> that you found challenging? Uh, I mean, uh, challenging. This I think it's the first time I wanted to approach uh, a film like it was a play. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to try this with Cherry, and I told him, "Give me the script at least uh, twenty days before the shoot." Which he did actually gave it to me a month before, and I treated this film like uh, a stage play uh, because it was that dialogue heavy. I wanted to get the dialogues completely out of the way. So when I started rehearsing the the script, it was like by the that in the tenth day or the fifteenth day, I was starting the first page without looking at the script and going right to the end because I had learned all the dialogues. Up. You learned all the dialogues. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I learned it from front to back. I learned everything up because I was What's like, I, I have to up my game. I can't forget my lines from Mr. Bachchan. So I was like, I'll put in all the effort into this and learn the entire thing up. So yeah, this is the first time I've done it. But it was very liberating because you take that stress off your head uh, from the word go, and then it's all about the character and the piece that you bring to the table. So. Yeah, I just imagine someone like Imran Hakim's stature memorizing an entire script from the first to the last page. I mean, it's uh, it's not something I've done ever, but I think it was a different process that I wanted to kind of inculcate for this. I remember that uh, when I went to show, uh, maybe second or third day, and uh, Imran said, "You know, Anji, my show day, I will have to go." I mean, look, Imran, dialogues are fine, but I don't need dialogues. So I was. You know, an actor like this already, you know, he's so popular. 
Now he's learned the entire script from the first page to the last page. How intimidating is that? He's like the popular kid and the topper of the class. Can you imagine the pressure? Yeah. They all for sure. I didn't tell you that much. No, you didn't tell me, but no, I was so scared. <laughs> he was so well prepared with everything. Okay, sorry. He was so well prepared, to be honest. Uh, I, I mean, if he says he was nervous, can you imagine that in the hundredfold for me? Because oh, please, you were not nervous. I was. So I have a poker face, but I was very nervous. I can imagine. I can tell. You know, Krishna, you're so popular. <laughs> You know, you're so popular on social media. Can you get Imran onto it, please? Trust me, I've tried. Ask him. I was actually asking her one of our conversations about how does this work, like Instagram and how, I mean, I asked him how do you get video. yourself to get up in the morning and put up something? Right? Real. You and were real in the morning. Tell him. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Some pictures say you woke up like this. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> people know but people know how I look. I mean it's gonna be the same snap I mean so my face will not change. Like we would love to see you. We would love to see you. Logic yeah. now. Uh, Instagram is logic nay chalta. Hai. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm still uh, learning. This I'm still learning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Teach him that. This okay. is, I'm looking forward to you teaching him that as much as I'm looking forward to this. Okay. A real and a story, you have to I think just go to his uh, Instagram and tell him this difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah you say you, you also can't. I know, you also don't know. You don't know, you 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 Okay. That is with background music. But post also you can put background music. So but, but, this, but this has background music, other people can repost and use that same music and make you like you are the original creator of this music. And then Even though you picked it up from some other actor or some other. No, <laughs> so you are your own music. Like yeah, music. like Good Care, how you had so many people that were made on it. But it was a Good Care song. It was a Good Care song. Wow, look at this. I was the only one to make it happen. I've made it happen. Please do it. You know, I feel like I've sowed the seeds of a reel from Imran Hashmi. I want all his fans to thank me for making him more active on social media. And now I have to wrap up. But thank you so much for joining me. It's so much fun. I'm looking forward to the film. A lot of fun chatting with all of you. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you.